again with some more how to play Diablo if you're blind. Um, so let's talk about navigation inside a dungeon. Now, for the most part, a lot of us are still in the campaign. Um, only a couple people I've seen actually hit the end game, um, the multi or three or four, stuff like that. But as far as the dungeon navigation, this is something you'll have to deal with through the whole game. This is just a part of it. Same with strongholds, eventually. Um, so the long and short of it is this, right? The way most ARPGs work, they run on tile sets. So the understanding is that if you can see, or in this case, feel out a tile set, you'll understand the layout for the most part, right? Um, or this is predictable mapping. Um, this is very hard to do if you cannot see it. However, it's not impossible. Um, like, for example, the main ARPG I played was Diablo 3. I tried getting to others, but they were inaccessible. Um, so it was hard to really do, but for Diablo 3 specifically, we knew we were fishing for festering woods. That was the, like, go, this was the run it no matter what, this is the god tier dungeon map layout, basically. Diablo 4, a little more stringent as far as your mapping goes, because for the most part, depending on the objective you get, it's, you start in one of the four corners, and you move up, and you, or you move in the opposite direction of where you start. So if you start in the bottom left, you would move top right, and that's your general... You know, for the most part, that should be toward the objective, um, or at least one of the objectives. Um, depending on what the objective it'll, it 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 will be relatively close as well, depending on the object, uh, map layout. For example, here in this dungeon, it's got the mechanical boxes, bring two back to this door, and the door opens, and now I have to go to this area for the boss, right? pretty straightforward um i actually went through the mechanical boxes like within like a minute of each other like they were really close and not hard to navigate um but other dungeons it does take a while because you have to have find, th find three little things to bring back to the d door so it's a hit or miss but for the most part dungeon navigation boils down to to principles of listen for where the mobs are because that's a direction you have not been um whatever gear in your inventory you're not using you may as well drop it as sound markers so let's say okay here's here's where the objective is at okay drop three for the center objective drop one for this objective drop two for this one like use the items to mark locations um, that can help as well as of course your map your map is actually a very useful tool because it actually tells you the objective like the direction of the objective it's hard to use for the most part, simply because when you move the map around, the cursor, it sticks, like snaps to whatever your objective is or icons or whatever. So it doesn't put it directly dead center on the item or whatever you're looking for. Uh, th this is how it works for the campaign and every every landmark as well. The, the thing is, is it's basically, think of the icon the map is telling you, objective, find the mechanical box. That think of that as a circle a rat like on top of where the box could be and you're pinning that location so that way you're within the circle of the area so it's like maybe like a step to the right to the left whatever um, so it's not a dead pin dead on your whatever you need to do whatever you need to go find um, it's just a radius so it's tricky, yes, and it's not auto-navigating you and holding your hand, so you still have to go manually find it, and it can be frustrating, I understand this. However, that's the way the game's designed. This is, like, how a ARPG goes. Like, you go do the objective, you go do the thing, you clear the boss. Like, this is, this is how it goes. Um, the, the improvements I can think of for navigation for this game are... My biggest frustration, personally, is feeling like I'm not really moving. And that's mostly due to the speed of the characters, uh, especially Druid. Druid, dude, I feel so slow, it's not even funny. Um, but like, you know, for example, I took the 9% movement speed while I'm in wolf form and trample, and I feel a lot faster, but I'm still not as fast as I could be, right? And I think that's the problem with, with, with like, the, that's my main gripe with the navigation in this game, is that not the lack of nav assist and, like, you know, carrying you through whatever, I think it's realistically like the speed, like it just feels so tedious and long to get anywhere or through objectives or campaign quests or side quests, like it just feels long, which in itself is not a problem, that's just the way the game's designed, sure, it's supposed to take longer, but it becomes a different topic entirely once you head into the idea of this is very tedious because of how long it is. 
um, in itself is not an issue. However, it is a gripe I've been seeing a lot of people voice, and that's just my take on it. Probably, you know, a wrong take, but that's just my thoughts. So, hope you guys enjoyed this short one. Um, hopefully, this does help you a little bit in dungeons. Um, I understand for a lot of people this is a difficult concept because, you know, again, majority of blind people don't play ARPGs. They don't play games like this. Like the most exposure we have for a game like this is World of Warcraft, and maybe some of us have played Diablo three. So this is a lot of people's first times. Yeah. Um, again, most of the community plays fighting games, like or maybe like audio specific on audio only games on like their phones or whatever or computers. So again, thanks again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe as it helps push the video out to other blind and vision impaired players who might need assistance. And yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. As I dodge, dodge more dodge. I'll dodge. <laughs>